Ken, I'm happy that you're on the podcast with us right now because I want to talk about your lack of touch with your pranks. Oh? <laughs> with Jesus. lack of touch, I want to say damn near no touch. I'd say no touch at all. No touch at all, well, Ken. Are, are you mad because you didn't like it? Okay, so <laughs> if you guys saw the video where we put the toilet in Ken's office and then we had like the poop spray and we sprayed it in the toilet... Well, we showed us reacting to how bad it smelled, but what we didn't show on the video was it smells so bad. We felt like he was going to get so mad because it smells so bad. So we took the toilet out, rinsed it out, and started completely fresh because we were like, this is like, this <laughs> is far. like a, almost a criminal act having this toilet smell this bad in his office, right? We do it. Ken didn't even notice that it smelled bad. And then after we it did it, normal in there, bro. It, yeah. it, it didn't, it smelled bad off it didn't smell <laughs> nearly as bad as that spray smells okay so fast forward i throw the spray away because i'm like this is a we lethal, had to get rid of this them. is a lethal weapon and i don't feel comfortable having it in the vicinity of one myself i know myself and I, I don't think i could handle having that around you know if i get the urge to mess with somebody and two i just didn't want it to get into the wrong person's hands it got in the wrong person's hands. Well, I threw it away. You must have ordered another I, one. I Amazoned another one. You ordered another you one? See, if it's ben $8. And, I know, but like it was the point. Like you went out and like you're like, I have to get them back with this spray again. So Ken. Oh, no. I just thought it'd be funny to do. Right. If, okay. If Ben and I say something is so bad that you need to like throw these away. This is not a prank. This is not to be joked with. This will ruin an entire room. We're going to have to. Put new drywall, carpet, <laughs> floor, everything. You the know whole room's got to be scrapped. You know it's bad. Yeah. yeah. So fast forward to last night, Saturday evening. We're all hanging out in our living room or in the shop, and uh, we're all sitting on the couch and everything. I go, Evan, you just shit your pants? Well, Evan's been ripping these sewer farts. That's what it is, dude. Lethal. Yeah. Okay. Something's Can wrong I... with Evan. Evan's <laughs> inside. Yeah. So, yeah. So, so I knew... Evan, there's Basically only one any, person any that could smell this bad ripping ass like that, right? Evan's on the other side of the shop, and I'm like, dude, you're clearing out the entire <laughs> shop here. This is insane. And and he was guilty at that point. He just he was ripping he was, ass. He was, he was, was ripping ass. He was on the other side, and he was like, I can't help it. And I go, go outside. Dude, I couldn't believe he was. It was like he was clearing shop <laughs> with the door he, open. He quite literally was clearing shop. Fast forward about five more minutes, right? Now I'm mad. <laughs> now I'm mad. I, I was trying to him get out. I storm back over. I go, Evan, just put your ass outside, dude. And he goes, okay, that one wasn't me. That one wasn't me. And I will not be falsely accused of ripping ass. He was like, I claim it. You know, I claim it. That's not me. And I go, well, then who was it? And then the PTSD and then it, kicked and in. And then it hits. And I'm like, there's only one thing that second to evan's ass that smells that bad uh, fart spray and you knew it was ken i knew was it like was ken immediately like, yeah so then ken is like <laughs> <laughs> and i could see it in the front pouch Pacing. of his sweatshirt yeah so then he pulls it out and he's like threatening to like pepper spray me and i'm like don't that's not even funny not a toy this is not a toy to be messed with and then i realized i thought it was just a prank on me not a camera in sight Ken was so, just spraying that thing to clear the entire shop well, out. He was we gonna had like spray 20 in your people car. over. And if that's you were like, dude, you can't be doing that. So that's have, gonna have, total this vehicle. Have, have <laughs> you it would have been a salvage after that. Have you ever noticed how right before Evan farts and it, it stinks really bad, there's like a, a glass crunching sound? No. Okay, well, Evan also has smelly fart prank stuff. You better wow, you just sold too. out Evan right here wait, without wait, him wait, to wait, defend? Wait, what? Yeah, he's got these little things where you, you put them on the ground, you put it behind your heel, and you crunch it, and then it smells. That's the, the rotten egg sewer smell. Are you serious? No, it's yeah. not. No. The sewer I, smell is him ripping. No, I'm no, pretty sure it that's is, him. It is a prank thing. Like, he has a well, whole box Evan, of them. Why would he do that and not claim that? Can you go grab it right now and show me I, that? I don't know where he hides them, but I know, like, if you look outside the door, there was, like, he, he farted again. And he like crunched this thing, and then there's a little wet spot on the concrete, and it was like, 
update. He did it again. I don't know what to believe dude, anymore, I dude. I thought he like shit on the ground at one point. I was like, <laughs> what the? F- what is that? But Ken, you- I think you got some on my on my clothes or my shoes or something like that. I smelled it all night. Yeah, it followed me around all night. Oh, because I sprayed it right behind you. I sprayed it right behind CJ. And no he, wonder I smelled it. Took, like it that makes so much more sense. It took a sense. solid half hour before you noticed it. Half hour? Half hour. Once oh. I noticed it, though, I was like. That's not a fart. That's fart spray. Cause then I, did cause you I, get that on any kind of like the pool table or the furniture or anything like that that won't that will stay, basically? I mean it's concrete. It'll go you just yeah, get it wet. Where were you pointing it? Like towards like in line with the furniture, but not on the towards the furniture. I would say that's the equivalent of, of mace spray. Yeah, it's bad. So we just a get out. one big wet wipe and, and wipe everything down in this building. It doesn't it need it. Fine. Well, that makes so much more sense now because uh, I was in the hot tub at that point because I'd found some ticks on myself from riding dirt bike and I was tweaking. So I had to go soak in the hot tub to kill them all. And I'm talking to T- I don't know if inside. that's how that works. Does it? I don't know. Drown them out? Yeah. Okay. And the chlorine. So I'm talking to Tint through, like, from outside in the inside, and he's by the pool table, and Ken walks up and just shuts the door, like, on me and Tint having a conversation. And I was like, what? Oh, and I, now I didn't were, even... Now you're trying to fumigate everybody out. <laughs> that's why I was. <laughs> nice choice of words. I didn't even notice that you guys were talking, but... <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. And I was like, Ken, what the heck? Because you just shut it, like, in the middle of our conversation and then walked away. Oh, I, I didn't even notice. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, enough about farts. <laughs> yeah. I, well, I think the real thing, though, it just goes back to touch. I mean, Ken doesn't have that touch. But you're working on it, and I like that. Can I can admire it. I can appreciate it. You got to do, do a few dry runs. There's yeah. going to be a few failures along the way. Ken. But You were doing it just for the hell of it, too, and that's what really is a prank. I've, I've got more stuff on the way. So Really? I, don't Fuck, worry. Dude, I love that. Good it, for you. It is good. Ben, you better you. sleep with one eye open. Better actually, <laughs> yeah. He's gonna mace one of them. If you're gonna do it, at least do it on camera. Well, we're <laughs> like, I'm not messing Ken, with you. you just fill me in. That way, I can. We're, I can make we're it. We're doing some dry runs before we do it for real. Gotta respect that. He's, that's fra- he's that's practicing. That's fine. Honestly, if you're doing them for the hell of the bit, I'm okay with it. But if you're just doing it just to clear out a room of people enjoying their life together, <laughs> having a good I, night, that's where I draw the line. Of no just, cameras, uh, nothing. <laughs> that's too far yeah. and Mike's over here like really really I don't think you can say that's too far and I go my pranks do not affect a group of people <laughs> <laughs> the only thing they affect is one person and they benefit they the benefit world. the whole group and the world They're all at Ken's lives. expense all at my expense it's, 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 oh, every time it's a light gag it's not serious some of them well Ken's, <laughs> Ken's fucking locked and loaded now so you better you better watch out so last night we had all our friends over and we were just hanging out literally like it was very chill playing pool. Uh, the boys were riding pit bikes on our land for like an hour or so before, but nothing crazy on our own land. And uh, apparently some kids got that we don't even know were on big bikes and they were out on the road just mobbing, like doing very high speeds, doing wheelies, apparently causing trouble because they got called in. A, a state trooper that lives near us comes pulling into our shop. And we're like, oh, no. Like, what, oh, we were what, like, what, what do we do? And then we're like, well, then wait, we're like, wait, we today. haven't done anything. No, I'm like, I haven't done we So I, I was genuinely curious. Like, I saw him pull in, and I was watching on the camera, and then he just kind of turned around and started slowly leaving. So I, like, walked out. I was like, what, is everything good? Like, what's going on here? He was like, I'm I'm looking for uh, two red dirt bikes. Somebody out here on the road doing high speeds, causing trouble, and they're on two red dirt bikes with numbers on the plate. And I turn and look, and Kevin and Luke, our two <laughs> buddies, were here, and they had two red dirt bikes sitting in the back of their trucks. Right, right in front of us. With number plates on them. Right in front yeah, of us. I just turn around, I'm like, okay. <laughs> well, it's not us. And, and it wasn't them. Mm-hmm. No, it wasn't, it wasn't them wasn't. either. It wasn't. Completely but I'm different sure people. it looked like yeah, these guys. It was totally these guys. And we're both standing there just like, haven't seen him. And yeah, he's, he's literally like, looking at us in the eyes and then looking over. They you haven't should have been like, go feel the bike. Like, they're cold. Like, Honestly, they're I didn't even, th- I didn't yeah, even I, think yeah. of it at the time. Yeah. Well, I don't but, think he was necessarily accusing us, so it wasn't necessary. But I felt pretty stupid because I'm sure he was just like, yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> in his head. But also at the same time, I, I truly didn't know who it was, but I'm also not a rat. So mm-hmm. I wasn't going to narc on anybody. 
We could get blamed for anything at this point. We yeah. do not. Let me rephrase that. We get blamed for everything at this point. I when, think I when found, people do things in the area and then they're just like fucking C boys. I think I found out who it was too. Just like a kid. He rode over today, him and his buddy. He was on his red dirt bike, <laughs> big bike, and his buddy was on his four wheeler and he pulled him and said, like, Hey, what up? You know, you want to hang? I was like, Ah, no, we're <laughs> going to put jet skis in right now, but. You know, and yeah. I, I told him, I was like, were you out riding yesterday? He goes, yeah, I just got this bike yesterday. I was like, dude, I think I the like, state oh troopers were looking for you. <laughs> and he was like, that thing's really? Hot. That thing's hot. Yeah, I was like, yeah, I don't know. You better cool it on <laughs> cool it on the roads. Or at least just stay. <laughs> just stay, stay away from us, this dude. Yeah. <laughs> we're very careful about how we do things, which doesn't normally translate to the video, but we're pretty calculated. We would never do anything that's going to disturb someone. Right. And... Just to clear the air, because I think some people think we just don't give a fuck, but we Proud actually do give reason. a fuck. Like I don't, I I don't want to ruin someone's day or cause any trouble or like trespass or yeah. rip past their house when they're yeah, like outside no. or like I don't, kids outside. And, and like, like I don't drive recklessly around other people or anything like that. I really don't drive recklessly at all. But yeah, so <laughs> Ken's, <man. laughs> Ken's making a little face. Do you want to talk about what Alex told you today? <laughs> She told me to slow down, but I wasn't fucking speeding around cars, like, you're, putting you're, other people. You're only doing 45 down our neighborhood road. It was in kilometers, Ken. You just drive Ken, fast. Ken, are you CJ. trying to incriminate him? No, but I'm, I'm just saying that it's not exactly entire, entirely true. <laughs> it's no, in kilometers. It's not in kilometers. Yeah, you do kind of drive... Uh, a little quick. A little Yeah, but in the quick. right situations. I'm not, like, zigging around people and causing trouble. Mm. Well, no, but I mean, also like speeding, speeding, like there's times to there's like, times when, you, when like, you can speed when you have like blood there's loss. There's a straight fucking road with no one in sight. You can go ten miles over the speed limit. What My about, thing like, is then if I, if I do speed, I'm just in like the mindset of just always speeding, so I just never speed. The problem is, is like I used to speed driving to Fargo a lot, but it makes the drive feel longer because the whole time you're tweaking out if. The next hill a cop's going to come over. You set the cruise at 59, four over. There's a little grace period in there, and you just cruise. That's the hardest part. I sound like such a little bitch saying this, but my Lambo doesn't have cruise <laughs> control, rough. and I'm so used to having cruise control. I don't even want to say this. Dude, I'm like, so sorry, I sound man. Like, no, no, no. No, I'm not. I'm just, I'm just saying I don't have cruise control, and I'm so used to having cruise control, so I have to like consciously be like, okay, all right, right in the pocket here, mm -hmm. 60 to 55, and then I'll catch myself going like 52, <laughs> and then look back, and there's like a bunch of cars behind me, and they probably think I'm just like that asshole, just like leisurely drive. <laughs> you know, I'm like, oh, shit, I got to get this back up. <laughs> Ken could never own a Lambo. He's got his whole life on autopilot. Yeah, seriously. True. Checking Reddit. What, get that thing on autopilot. And then Ken just has like a paper clip with like a little weight hanging on it. So he thinks that his hand is on it. And then he, he'll just scroll so, Reddit so for the worst, next 45 minutes. The worst thing about living around here is autopilot doesn't work on 90% of my drive because there's no lane markings. You mm. Poor thing. Wait, what? Do, don't you feel sorry for both these two on I the do. side of the oh table, Oh my Ryan? gosh. I, I know. God, dude. You guys really we, just... We, we should start a GoFundMe yeah. to help them out. Do you want some Fuck money? you guys. <laughs> that help? Like, I feel so sorry for both of you. I'm not complaining. I'm not saying poor me. I'm just saying this is my situation. Not even a situation. That This is what I do. This is what I deal with. <laughs> this, this is Ben's little soapbox right here. So, actually, the video would have been out by now. So, we've turned into jet ski, guys. Like, I've wanted, like we're full-blown jet ski guys now. Welcome to the club. Mm -hmm. I've about, dreamed of this moment been, since I was a kid. You're about dude. 10 years late. Yeah. Ken and I, that's when we became best friends. Neither of us had license, and we'd just meet up. I don't know. We'd like Facebook message each other and be like, meet you at the beach at 1030, and we'd jet ski all day. And I always like, thought Ryan was just the luckiest kid in the world because he had a jet ski. I was so jealous, dude. And then, first time I ever met Ken. <laughs> this is a funny story. They pull up. To the dock, and me and CJ are standing down there, and I ask if I can ride. And uh, CJ goes, hey, Ryan, can I ride your jet ski? And Ryan's like, of course, man. Just met. Just nice met. Guy. Yep. And I go, hey, Grant, <laughs> can I ride your jet ski? And Ken, Grant, goes, <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> and Ken had a shittier jet ski than Ryan. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, 
Okay. <laughs> and, then, and then we just stood there I'm just saying, awkwardly. Just sit there? Until CJ and Ryan got back. I came was, back and then Ryan let you ride his. Ben, you're also like probably 10. But maybe Ken, that, that was so oh. on brand for you. <laughs> to I wasn't that young. At least you haven't changed. <laughs> Still though, it's a jet ski. What are you worried about? I mean, to <laughs> be fair, are, you did look like a child and you were a child you, at that point. You literally point. were a child. So you could have crashed, but... It was a risk I was willing to take. I appreciate uh, that, Ryan. And I do started a lifelong that. friendship. Exactly. And, and a business and everything. It's I mean, so funny. Look at how much stuff came from it. it hasn't changed one bit, though. That's so funny. <laughs> I always wanted a jet ski. Never had one growing up. And I always thought it was the coolest thing when I get to ride like Ryan's jet skis or, or like any of it's our other friends. It's not fun riding someone else's jet ski, though. But then you're taking it from your mm -hmm. friend and then you're just mobbing around. You're also after using a their bit. gas. You feel very limited. You're like, oh, I've been on it for like. 10 minutes, I, I better go put it back because I don't want to like just burn through a tank of gas and also, I don't know. Yeah, mm -hmm. If it's yeah. not yours, yeah. but, it's not fun in my but opinion. But it was always a treat. Like riding somebody's jet ski was always just a treat and I always look forward to it. Now, got yeah. my own jet ski. Yeah. Damn, it's dude. It's kind of one of those <laughs> it's, it's made it moments. pretty funny to me because you were talking that you were going to sell this jet ski right away before we had them because we, we got a good deal on them. Well, so my, he was like, oh, I'm just going to flip it, make make a couple grand, whatever. Ben rides it for two minutes. He's like, yeah, I'm keeping this. Can I put this at your house, CJ? <laughs> well, the thing is, I didn't know where I was going to put it. And you guys all got like your places and everything. So I was like, well, if I if I have a jet ski, then I got to keep I'm it at one of the boys' place. You, should, you can keep it at our place and come over and ride it. I will. We can all ride it together. It's fucking yeah. fun. That's dude. the best part. Ken and I were riding this earlier. It's freezing out. We were the first people on the lake. And we're on jet skis. Normally, you fish. Well, I guess there was a couple there fishing boats. There was a couple boats, fishermen out there. But we were <laughs> just around. Ken and I. They're like, God we had damn, they're back. On. Yeah, it was so <laughs> fun, dude. People hate jet skis. The ice Something been about on. jet skis. Uh, jet skis are like so disproportionate. The person on it is having so much fun. Every time you jump it and it makes the noise and you're splashing around. And every single person... Even myself, if there's a jet ski like playing around in front of my house or something, I'm like, God damn, that's annoying. <laughs> and then like, I'm totally fine hopping on mine and doing the same thing. I was like kind of a little bit slightly different from your situation. I always wanted one when I was a kid. Dreamed of it. I always wanted one. And then like I got older and I was like, eh, I don't really want a jet ski. Like, I mean, what would I do with it? You know, you just ride it around and then... We got them, and I love it. I'm a jet ski guy. <laughs> like, I, I might put it in my Instagram bio, jet ski enthusiast. Yeah, you should. Ryan, I get I get why you love jet skis so much, and you've always loved jet skis. It makes sense, dude. You guys are coming around. It makes sense why jet ski Ryan loves jet skis. It's, it's true, true, man. That They're guy's fun. got it all down there. From Shadow Six Racing. <laughs> he loves Who's jet skis. Who's going to give CJ free PRP? <laughs> yeah. I need hair. CJ's Someone gotta, help me. CJ's got to take like a once a month trip down to Miami. Sounds that sounds pretty nice. pretty nice. Yeah, I'll do that. So, can, fuck, I'll start paying for PRP. I'll just go. <laughs> CJ, your dollar dollar general girl. <laughs> I was at the bar a couple weeks ago. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. Getting some food. And she's just comes up to me, starts chatting. Mm. She's had a, a few too many. And then she just starts munching on my food. And I was like, <laughs> oh, I thought that was going somewhere else. I thought you were going to say something else. Munch <laughs> and I was like, whoa, you, I, this is the first maybe second time i've ever met you and you're just eating my food in front of me <laughs> this what? is a little too far she must not know anything about you ken because you do not like sharing wait was <laughs> she eating your fries or like your full Take on a burger? bite of the burger so like she i, I like my food had just come out and she starts immediately taking like munching on my fries <laughs> and i like, follow your food over there what'd you do i, I was just like this is fucking awkward <laughs> and i don't want to like offend you or do anything weird so it's just like okay and then i kind of like <laughs> just casually her hand. i casually like start scooting it further and further <laughs> away and she just keeps getting closer and closer i was like jesus christ this is she's like on top of me i'm like this, oh this is so fucking uncomfortable you <laughs> like being on top normally and so Yeah, I am. I, I'm very un unconfrontational, but it's just like, hmm. Tej, you got to rein in your girl over there. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> why is she my girl? Just how did that I fuck how, with the Dollar General or what? How did that end? She eventually her <laughs> she <boyard>. got full. <laughs> somebody, <laughs> somebody came and picked her up. Basically, <laughs> were you by yourself? Yeah. Oh my and then God. like Ben was there, and Dude, one of the I like her. Was, She's a sweet lady. If if she came over to me, I would give her. 
my fries and not have a single problem about it. One time I went in there and she gave me printing paper. So I, I'm very appreciative of that. Uh, and it was for you, Ken. It was for me. Yeah. So yeah, you deserve to give her your fries. Yeah, Ken. Maybe she knows that that you're in debt to her for three dollars in paper. She's gonna get every penny out of you. How many dollars in fries did she eat? I mean, come on. Doesn't matter. But it was just <laughs> extremely <laughs> uncomfortable. So our friend Blake lives basically on the road. Like his house is like right at the end of this intersection. So it's like imagine a T in the road. So <laughs> you're coming. Yeah, down intersection. The, oh, right? a T intersection. Or a is T the intersection. Key. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it, it, there's not a road that keeps going. So you're driving. You either have to go left or right, but you need to come to a stop because it's a complete ninety degree turn. And then Blake's house is like and it there. And you're going 60 miles an hour and you need to just stop. Using your brakes. Yeah. Right. So if you're not paying attention though, <laughs> you go from 60 to I need to stop right now. And then and if, I've if, always said it for years. I said I would never live in that house because I don't think I'd sleep at night. Some drunk person would just drive through my fucking house while I'm sleeping. Well, you can guess what happened. Some drunk person drove into Blake's house. <laughs> yeah, drove right through the motherfucker. Well, not through parks, it, more into it. Parks in his house, gets out and in, goes... This is the best part. Can I take a shit in your bathroom? <laughs> yeah, took a shit in his bathroom. <laughs> did he say yes? <laughs> he did, man. Well, no, nice he didn't guy. say yes. No, 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 just she, goes, yeah, think, think you can went. use my bathroom. Oh, no. and then she took a shit. Yeah, yeah and, then and she it stunk shit. super <laughs> bad. Stunk. Stop I'm sure it literally scared the shit out of her, dude. So she, <laughs> I think she was driving along house. all messed up and then with one eye open and then boom, she's in somebody's house. It was like three o'clock in the afternoon. It wasn't even that late. Oh, really? Parked in his living room and then fucked up his bathroom. <laughs> That's what you call a double threat. Well, she was all drunk, I guess. I don't know. The cops came and she got dewy. Man, can you imagine... There's it's a just car parts in your girl, living room, and then the chick just destroys your bathroom. I, I don't know why. I think it's just funnier that it's a girl. Like I'm envisioning a girl just fucking up your bathroom with like taking a shit. Like, <laughs> like I and mean, then and then like it smells standing, so bad. I guess standing on like the toilet trying to open a window to, to get, get like, out a, of there, like a draft going. <laughs> what a fucking situation! <laughs> I can't believe she couldn't hold it. <laughs> well, she like, knew she was going to jail. Yeah, seriously, on. she knew she was going to jail. Fuck. She had to get one last good shit in. <laughs> That's How crazy. bad do you have? to dump to put yourself in that position that's why she drove into the house <laughs> maybe she was in a rush home bathroom. mike goes that's why she drove into the house she was just trying to get directly to the bathroom what's like the worst spot you've ever had to take a dump <sighs> i'd say probably just like a porta potty like a oh a, god a porta potty that's been used or you know dump. like mm -hmm. back in the early days of heydays Ooh. um before we could afford to stay in like a hotel or I mean, we probably could afford it, but we just didn't want to spend our money doing that type of stuff. So we'd rough it. Like we'd sleep in a trailer and not even like a, a trailer home. It was just a trailer, like a, 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 trailer. A, a storage trailer. So we'd all sleep in that. And it was super hot and it sucked, but we, we made it work. You know, we'd be there for three days. So obviously you're going to have to take a shit and there's only porta potties there. Those porta potties, I'd always try to shit before, you know, they get used, used. Well, if it's like, the second to last day or the last day, it's going to be a, blown bad a bad one. deal. And I take long shits. <laughs> like, I mean, I do probably like one 15 to 20 minute dump a day, I would say. And it's like my sacred time. Like, I sit there. It's relaxing. I watch a YouTube video or maybe I catch up on Instagram or whatever, you know. It's just like, it's my time. You calm you down and be. you just, you do your thing. Pooping in there, that's... It's an in and out type of thing. It smells terrible and it's just disgusting. There's piss all over the floor, piss all over the seat. You're trying to wipe it off. It's just. What about airplanes? <laughs> Dude. Remember that one time <laughs> we were going to Vegas, Ken, and I had to take a shit and I was like, <laughs> you and I were sitting next to each other and I went in the, in the bathroom and I started taking a shit and I was like, Dude, I should just stay in here until we land. <laughs> and then I came out because it was like fucking 30 minutes at that point 
And uh, I told you, I was like, dude, how funny would it have been if I like stayed in there until we landed? You just go, that would not have been funny. We wouldn't have. No, because then they, they abort the, the landing. Then you're No, stuck. they wouldn't, dude. How the fuck would they be like, he's in the toilet taking a dump. We can't land. <laughs> they would have landed around. that bitch. That's, they would have landed that bitch. I guarantee it. That's part of the, the, the flight attendant's checks is they have to go through the bathrooms, make sure nobody's in there, and then they can like give so a they clear to totally land. Landed so they would have just asked you probably to exit the like, bathroom. Please, like they can't take <laughs> Pinch off. Pinch her off. What if, what if you just, just go, just take another lap? around it's gonna be a little bit they'd be like what Can't imagine take- you do that on a plane you lock yourself in the bathroom it's 24 hours and you just keep saying i have ways to take to get a in shit there. yeah but like you're they just like dude i'm taking a re- shit like you got your pants down when they bust in and you're just like i i sorry i can't get up <laughs> what do you do if you're that flight attendant and you're that pilot you're like do we just drag him by his pants out the bathroom and put it in a seat. I'd imagine. Can you I don't imagine, think so. dude? We're all in you get like your our pants movies. down. They probably like just take another lap. Just, I can it. imagine the headline. One YouTuber, more lap. YouTuber arrested after t- refusing to get out of the bathroom. The Life Out Open podcast is sponsored by Manscaped, the global leaders in men's below the waist grooming. We have an exclusive offer for you guys. Use the code wide open to get 20% off plus free shipping at manscaped.com. Join the movement and the other 4 million men who trust Manscaped. April is National Testicular Cancer Awareness Month, which is why we wanted to take a second to talk about men's health issues that are important to us. Did you know that one guy every hour, every single day is diagnosed with testicular cancer? So this is a reminder to all the men listening to take some time and play with your balls. In addition to providing the right tools and solutions for safe and easy manscaping, Manscaped has partnered with the Testicular Cancer Society to spread awareness for men's health and early cancer detection. Together, TCS and Manscaped are committed to raising awareness for the most common form of cancer in men 18 to 35 and giving support for fighters, survivors, and families impacted by testicular cancer as a part of the We Save Balls initiative. In addition to checking yourself regularly, we want to make sure your sack is looking fresh and smelling clean with the Manscaped Perfect Package 4.0. Inside the Perfect Package, you'll find products and liquid formulations that have been developed to turn your bathroom into a salon for your balls. Manscaped's liquid formulations use only the best ingredients. Some of these tools include the Crop Preserver, an anti-chafing deodorant for your balls, as well as the Crop Reviver, spray-on ball toner and refresher. The Perfect Package 4.0 also includes anti-chafing performance boxers that keep your package cool and feeling fresh. Everyone loves when their package is looking and smelling clean, but please make sure it's healthy too and check for lumps, changes in size, or any pain. Join the Manscaped movement and start taking care of your balls today and get 20% off plus free shipping with code WIDEOPEN at manscaped.com. That's 20% off and free shipping with code WIDEOPEN at manscaped.com. Your balls will thank you. Back to the podcast. My friend Brad always said, if you have to take a dump in a bar, you didn't plan your day well enough. That's so true. And I live by that. Mm-hmm. If you're going to be busy the rest of the day, just get, get your stuff in order. If I ever can't, like I'm constipated or like I can't poop, what I do is I I go to Caribou Coffee, okay, <laughs> and I'll get a I'll crafted press with an extra shot of espresso. That clears out the system. No mm. milk, almond milk, though. And then I go to the gym, and I'll start <laughs> running. Man, you got a full <laughs> routine. Crap. Normally, it gets out of you before, like, once you get to the gym, you're like, holy shit, I got to... You take a dump. That's why CJ only runs half a mile. It's as far as you can make it before he starts, <laughs> starts leaking. But if not, you just run. And I remember one time our buddy, uh, I can't say his name, but uh, he's a sheriff. He was like, dude, if you ever constipated, you just got to go for a run. That's what you do with dogs because he has the canine true. dog. He's like, if your dog's ever constipated, just go run him and it'll poop. Hmm, really? And so true because it gets your, I don't know, it it works though. I'm dead ass serious. Makes sense. So if you're constipated sitting at home, forget the raisin bran. Go get a coffee and go for a run. Go for a run. Raisin bread? Gets you all warmed up to run straight Which we to the are, bathroom. Yeah, yeah raisin <laughs> bread. One time when I was like really little, I don't want to say little, I was probably seventh grade, I was constipated and I literally went as far to go to the to the nurse in the school <laughs> because it was like, so, I just don't feel right. What'd they tell you? She was like, uh, what are you doing? I was like, my mom made these like- <laughs> Enchiladas. These, my mom made these fiber muffins like with high high fiber- Okay, this is the last Brand thing. Brand muffins, say. that's what it was. This is the last thing we're going to talk about on poop. But did you see Cody Cam's uh, Instagram reel? So he, he was riding with his kid in his kitchen, his pants while he was riding. Oh, what? my God. Oh, what happened see. on What this the drive? fuck? That kid is old, dude. He can't be pooping his pants. He's still wearing like. <laughs> dude, that kid just got exposed. Oh. How do you. 
I mean, he that's like, hilarious, oh. bro. <laughs> Look at the kid's face. He's like, <laughs> what? <laughs> Dude, <laughs> dude! Oh my God, that's hilarious! <laughs> Show Ben, poor guy. Oh, oh, oh! <laughs> oh. That's got a smell. Damn. See, the, the dude's like, what? Siege, you did it. You, you made it to crisp and green. Yeah, for I the did fourth it. week in a I row. Did, yeah, dude, you I'm actually happy. don't. You want to hear something? And they should How start paying. Can they celebrate when you walked in? We'll get this. Get this. They I go, knew, a I regular. Knew something was going to fucking happen. <laughs> oh my I God. knew it. Did you get a punch card? I walked in too late, though, where, like, it was towards the middle of the afternoon. They probably just got done with their rush. And I think they were kind of in a slightly bad mood. Mm. But that didn't change too much. Anyway, so I okay. get my typical bowl, salad bowl. And when I'm checking out, you know, paying, then he goes, hey, what's your name? <laughs> <laughs> I just go, uh, no. Yeah. No. Dead ass. <laughs> I <just> said CJ. <laughs> <laughs> what if you just gave him a fake name? I He's thought going. I was saying Steve, but I was like, fuck. <laughs> I don't really want to be known Dude, as Steve around here. That had to have felt so good. They were like, you come in here a lot. <laughs> they did. Well, actually, did they say that? You come in here every Friday. I said, they didn't say that, but that's what they were thinking. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. CJ hits him with the old snap finger guns. <laughs> CJ breaks down and starts crying. Be like, you have no get, idea how much you guys mean to me. I did say that. I said, I, I just went I on my podcast and talked about you guys for fifteen. minutes I didn't minutes. say that. I, I just said, uh, uh, I said, yep, four Fridays in a row. And then she's kind of like looking at me and like didn't say much. <laughs> and then, <laughs> then I said, she goes, she and, goes. but then I made it better by just going, well, I was, I was telling my friends that, uh, I'd be a regular here if I came uh, today. So that's why I had to come here. I went out of my way for this. And she just goes, <laughs> and then yeah. she goes, what's your name by the way? <laughs> no, she C- said that first. No, no, no. CJ. And then nice. CJ walks away feeling all good about himself, and she goes, okay, definitely like keep an eye out for that <laughs> guy because something's off. It would have been funnier <laughs> if she was like, sweet, all right, we'll put that on the order. <laughs> she she takes she has her friend take a picture of you. Hey, this guy isn't allowed here anymore. <laughs> we'll put that she on the order. She was asking for what hey, the name was on wh- the order. What's your name? He's just like, oh, thanks for C- asking. CJ. They made me feel super excited, and then I just started talking out my ass, and it just made it awkward. <laughs> you know, I was just like, yeah, just, just saying too much, which it goes, was, I actually have quite a bit to say about that. Okay. Or, no, continue. <laughs> dude. Yeah, so last night I was at the bar and we were there with our friends and other locals and whatever. And this happens to me all the time. It's just some dude. And he's like telling me some shit. <laughs> and I'm like, in my head, I'm just like, why the fuck are you telling me this? <laughs> What does this have to do with me, or how is this supposed to be even interesting to me? What was he telling you? They'll just start talking about themselves. About his for kids. example. It, <laughs> I don't know. And how am I supposed to be interested in anything you're saying right but now? But realistically... Yeah, my kid just turned three. And I, I thought to myself... He just goes, oh, that sucks. Yeah. <laughs> I thought to myself, I walked out of that Sorry, place man. after this guy was wasting my time telling me the story, and I was just trying to get the hell out of there. And I was thinking to myself... Imagine if I just started, whenever someone starts doing this, I just go, why are you telling me this? <laughs> <laughs> Mid-story. They would, like, Dude. if someone did that to me, I would be like this. What? <laughs> and I would literally be like, why the fuck am I telling them this? this? This isn't applicable to them at all. That's why whenever I talk to somebody, I don't try to waste their time telling them some shit they probably don't care about. <laughs> it would probably be better for them, too, because then they would be like, yeah. You're right. I probably shouldn't fucking... Talk to somebody. <laughs> yeah. like some people need someone like have to talk a convers- to. Have a conversation with somebody. I've been somebody? going back and forth what on it for mean? the past day. I've been going back and forth on it the past day. It's like the basic rules of communication. You also, just need people, to talk about shit. People but- loved your dating advice in the last <laughs> episode. My favorite <laughs> comment was, took CJ's dating advice. Now I'm sitting in the county jail. <laughs> <laughs> that was a joke. But there was also kids <laughs> DMing. There was also kids DMing saying, I took CJ's dating advice, and now I'm going on a, fr- a date on Saturday and shit like that. 
I saw a couple of those. No. no. I saw... Dude, Ryan, you no. fucking saw... Don't... <laughs> you literally <laughs> told me to comment. No. I know, Don't but they were serious. Me. I read the one to you, and he said, now I'm going on a Cinco de Mayo date. So, so I'm talking about... That was... Just the and he didn't say a single word to her the entire time. He just sat and That was not my advice, bro. Like, that was not every my time advice. she got a new drink, he my just tipped it over. My advice was just not to fucking like, chase like right away at the beginning. But oh, sometimes you do need to chase. You just got to read the situation. and that, That's the whole point. So imagine that though, you just Ben's just telling me some story, and I just go, "Why are you even telling, telling me this?" <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta smile and What's nod and not do? pay but any attention. Well, <laughs> <laughs> every time we're ever talking to Ken, ever any conversation, then I started thinking back on it uh, as I reflecting back on it as my day went on today. Now, and I was like, "Well, I mean, that's kind of just like one of the basic things of society. Like that's part of just communicating and building front. You just talk about." Basically, whatever. And it doesn't always have to be super objective and yeah. uh, purposeful. What's your go-to conversation starter? I never start a conversation with anyone. Hey, man. What have you been up I say, to? Hey. Oh. <laughs> the worst question ever, dude. Ever. Yeah, I just saw somebody from college today that I hadn't seen in a while at Hornbachers. Oh, neither of us knew anything about each other's lives. And we had... Nothing. We couldn't even come up with a good question to ask each other. I love it when wow. you're just smiling and, just and you're staring just, at you're, each other. You're and just just right. Go, All right, man. Did you say? And the have worst a good part day? was we were stuck together in line because I was oh. buying flowers for my mom because I am a good son. I, we were both stuck in line right next to each other, and I was like, "See, that's ah. when the so bull, that's when the bullshit did you resort to anything?" Yeah, I went and I went. I should probably get my mom a card and left. <laughs> left the <laughs> line. <laughs> I literally oh, just left. Wow. Ken is like, that is genius. Yeah, Ken's like, <laughs> exactly how I would play it. Well played, Ryan. I'm going to use that one. Both you two are non-confrontational. Or That's just, why I was so proud of you for going in there and, I'm and saying that. I need to be. I'd say you avoid it. Tell the, I avoid, yeah, the, for sure. No way out. Ken will avoid until he digs a, no way out. digs a hole out the other side. <laughs> <laughs> no, I will still bring things up that need to He's get brought like up, but it's, I'm not going <laughs> to nitpick at every little thing that comes my way that I need to make a mountain out of. Okay, I have a story of oversharing. It was when we were at the yeah, hotel. oversharing. It's just like, and everyone not does good. it. I do it. I try not to now. That goes back to me just saying, why are you telling me this? <laughs> Like what, what? Where are you going with this? So I, I had a time I did that in when we were in Wisconsin getting our truck built. We had just the oddest hotel experience. It was weird, so strange. Check in took forever, and then we just like randomly got assigned to a room. It was, it was this whole mess. The TV said, "Hey, Chad," and then so we get this call, knocks on the door like early in the morning. We're like, "What's going on?" So anyway, they come and they go, "Hey, there was a problem with the internet. You need to come to the front desk." I'm like, there was a problem with the internet. What did I do? When I'm she like, said that, I was like, what the fuck, fuck were one of you guys searching? That's what, last I, night? I, was, that's what I was thinking. I'm like, someone's in trouble. And, and, so I, I like take a shower, get dressed. I'm like, I'm prepared for the day at this point. Who knows going what's gonna to jail. happen? He's yeah. Going to so I walk up there. All three of the hotel ladies are there, and they go, Hey, we had a problem with the internet. Blah blah blah. It goes on. They say that we didn't get checked in. There was this whole debacle. I go, Okay, great. Whatever. So we go through the whole check-in process. And she goes, yep, it's just you and the other gentleman in there, right? And I go, yep, yep. Figure it doesn't matter. And then she goes, okay, here's the key for you two. And I go, oh, can I have three keys actually? And the other one who hadn't spoken the whole time except for sitting there like this, like looking at me, just goes, oh, throwing us for a loop now, are we? Making it interesting. What? I'm pretty sure she thought CJ and I were like in there. You know, yeah, like together. And then we were going to have like a third over, which was you. You were hiding. Yeah. But anyway, I got a little nervous and rattled in, in that moment. And so I told her the whole reason we were there. I go, oh, no, we're in town actually getting our truck built at Custom Offset. So like our truck's gone today. That's why we're just staying here. Because six years ago, my we started a YouTube, <laughs> YouTube channel. channel. No, uh, I didn't go that deep. We started filming with iPhones. <laughs> it's like this whole thing. I, w I gave her the full spiel. Oversharing. Yep, overshared. And all three of them look at me and go, okay. <laughs> and, and I just went... Have a good day. Isn't Turn it, around and walk out. <clears throat> Isn't it the best though when you're oversharing and you catch yourself oversharing, but yep. you can't stop right then and there because you're like, this will only make it more weird. So you mm -hmm. got to try to wrap this story up. 
but it only makes it even a little bit more weird. But you're like, let's just wrap this up and fucking end this. Get out of here. Because then the story made yeah. no sense, even though and you maybe like, tried. And why'd like, you tell me this? What? Why'd you tell me this? Sometimes you just got exactly my point. It, it's the worst when you're drunk and it's just like I know I'm doing this, but I don't know how to fucking stop. <laughs> yeah. you, you know, some what? people don't know though, and that's why mm-hmm. I think they need people to say. Why, Why are you telling, telling me this? this? <laughs> in, my, in my opinion, I'm just dead in my track. You're like, Whoa. <laughs> I'm gonna get out of here, okay? <laughs> in my opinion, what's worse than oversharing is assuming. And Mike does this every single time we see somebody. But he also overshares, so it's a it's a tough balance, right? But all right, here's a perfect <laughs> example because I know he's, he's one who doesn't no, I know he's oversharing too. <laughs> okay, so we ran into this woman that. I used to intern at this place and Mike used to work at, and we both knew the re- like the receptionist there. And we ran into her at the bar. Haven't seen her in like five years. Had no idea what we were up to or anything like that, right? I haven't seen her before that, though. You didn't know that. Okay. Do you, you want to hop in, Mike? Mike, Mike, but she's like a 60 year old lady. She's not in tune with our lives. She's not checking out right? YouTube. And she goes, What are you guys up to? And Mike goes, Oh, the giveaway winner's in town. For the pit bike, so uh, we're just having them out and grabbing some food, and she's like, giveaway winner. <laughs> yeah. She's so confused. For the last pit bike. And she's like, I was there. I could tell the story. <laughs> uh, okay. was a little more, there was a little more context to it than that. For the record, she was very confused. Very confused. <laughs> and then she was like, a couple more sentences, sentences in, she just is like, all right, yeah, you're doing, you could do giveaways. All right. And then you were, you were <laughs> Why'd like, "Why'd you give this kid a pit bike?" <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and what the fuck is a pit bike? Well, that's assuming you're right, and also oversharing in a sense. And then the other, the tough thing is, is that she overshares as well. Like and, she talked our ear off, bro. And then so Mike still disagrees on this part, but she goes, "And uh, your girlfriend, uh, how is she doing?" And Mike's like, "Yeah, she's good, you know, Ryan's sister." And and, <laughs> and she was like. Who's Ryan? Who's his sister? He doesn't know who Ryan I definitely is. He didn't work there. What? Yeah. <laughs> I definitely she thought, like, she, I thought she knew more about our lives than, what? than that. And she was so confused because then I'm sitting there just like, jeez, uh, dude, just stop. She had yeah. to go back to her table and just be like, I had the weirdest interaction with somebody. <laughs> I don't even know who they were. I just knew one of them. That was actually when the time that we got back to the table. I just go, Mike, you got to stop doing that, bro. <laughs> yeah, it but makes it like- so uncomfortable for all of us. I don't. I don't all think it's that us. uncomfortable. Didn't mean to. He just it, how is it that, that uncomfortable? I know. You guys all say dumb shit. <laughs> I know. But like at least, accurate. at least I don't drag you into my dumb conversations. On that one, it was like we were in it together, and I'm just like, oh yeah. God. But you don't have I to feel be like a part I need of it to if be you don't want to. Providing context in live time, as Mike says it. You know well, that whole thing could have been saved by just saying, "Why are you telling me this?" <laughs> Imagine she said that to Mike. Oh, fuck, we would have died. That would have been great. We would have all died, and Mike would be like, what it's like I, I don't know, I guess. Uh, I thought yeah. you, in, you were interested. That's the same vibe as, like, I think it was on, I don't know what videos it was, but uh, Chris D'Elia always does it. When someone's doing something weird and just, like, and he goes, why'd you do that? <laughs> yeah, why'd you You know, you whenever do that? just someone just does something <laughs> super super, he's like, why'd you do that? And it's the same vibe. Whoa. <laughs> We have a bad tendency of fiddling with the mics. People it's like a hard habit to break. It really is. I need like a fidget spinner. Something, People yeah. listening to this podcast, the whole comment section is going to be, why'd you tell all of us that? Yeah. The whole you podcast. Why the are you telling podcast. us this? Why are you telling us that? Well, because you're listening. <laughs> <laughs> well, because if we didn't. You chose to listen to this. We wouldn't have a show. <laughs> I figured Ryan, was there. CJ almost just sliced Ryan's finger off in the mic. God damn, this thing's fucking falling apart. What is going on? It's Sunday night. We're a mess. What's going on here? It's fully disconnected. These mics kind of are confusing. Yeah. You got to be smarter than the mic. <laughs> Why is this thing like falling apart? How many C-bars does it take to change a mic? I literally have to get tools to fix this. Hey, how old were you guys when you got facial hair? 25. Mine was slow, but sure, I guess. When it started coming in, basically, I was stoked. But I couldn't grow a mustache at all, at That's all. Right. And then people were just like, "Why? Why with the chin strap?" And then I'm like, "I can't. I don't really like chin straps." But 
And then people started calling me Abraham Lincoln. And then the people at Zorba started calling me Gabraham Blinken. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, it didn't last long, luckily, but it was just funny. Yeah. They're like, man, you just really, you just got to get that mustache in Gabraham Blinken. <laughs> just some good old fashioned. So how old were you? Like, oh, uh, I guess like 19, 18. Oh. Like, not when I first started, but yeah, 18. I was hoping you were going to give me a better answer than that. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I probably started shaving for sure. I think I would shave in high school, late, like senior year, but it wasn't it wasn't much. But then I would say like sophomore year, I could probably grow a beard. Of high school? No, of, of college. Sophomore year of, of college. I don't know, 20. Damn. So you think I'm just like, it's just never going to happen? Dude, consider yourself lucky. You got hair. You look young. I wouldn't it's, mind a good beard, though. It's nice. It hides your face fat. Oh, you don't yeah. Want I just started, like, getting to the point where I have to shave every day. Not every day. Every, like, two, three days. And it's annoying. Honestly. It is. For sure. It is really annoying. When you have to but you try to keep it. you got a nice beard, Ryan. So yeah, do you, you Mike. Do. And Ken. You guys all have really good facial hair. Ken, and I've always felt like Ken's beard's on another level. Ken's got like, that lumberjack I just, beard. I've never grown it that long, and I, I don't know if I could pull it off, but you can. You just don't shave for a couple days, then it's <laughs> a couple days? No, for me to get it that long, it would take me two months. Ryan, yours looks... I can't even imagine what you'd look like without a beard at this Bad, point. Bad, dude. Olander keeps You've had a beard to for shave. a long time now. I have. I didn't think I'd really had it for but that it, long. It's not long, though. It's just nope, yeah. always been the same length. I shaved it. The last time I shaved it was like two years ago in Florida. And I was like, I this needs to grow back fast. It's crazy how fast it grows back. Yet I'm like, I'd say I'm scared. To shave it off. I think I'm going to look ugly and stupid. Wait, didn't you like, guys shave for... I have not. Oh, I guess the, the closest I got was I still left some behind for the Brett Turcotte. Yeah. yeah you still I left did. some stubble, I left though. some behind because I'm saying I can't. I'm scared to that bick it. Quick. Yeah, that yeah I would, though. Really quick. Yeah. No, I've already... I And then I re... Did I? So how... Oh, I, yeah. You've trimmed that I, for sure. For how sure. often do you guys shave then? This part of my neck, so I don't have a neck beard, like every two, three days. And then I probably trim it back every like every week at least. Yeah. I'm pretty bad about it in general, but I'd say every two weeks. Mm -hmm. Don't fidget with it. <laughs> do not fidget with it. And I'll, I'll fix okay, Dan. And Everybody give back. a round of applause in the chat for Ken. Thank you, Ken. Not only talent today, but also tools. Tools. <laughs> Maintenance. Don't touch it. Mechanic guy. CJ, stop, stop. Don't even look at it. Oh, so, uh, so if you guys, you've heard of the YouTuber Mark Rober, mm -hmm. right? First of all, he's just incredible. Like, he's a really good storyteller, really good. Dude, he makes, like, great videos. And he only makes, like, 12 a year, give or take. But his last one, handful have been about, like, exposing scammers and exposing uh, people in San Diego who, like, just break the window of a car and take whatever. So he made these like glitter bombs and that's how he first did it. And the glitter bombs like blow up, make a bunch of noise, like throw glitter ever everywhere. And then like it shoots spart fart spray too. Oh, oh we weren't even here dude. for this conversation. We that talked stuff about smells bad. Ken's fart spray incident. Last I was night. hoping and that's kind of what I was going to lead into. But he makes these glitter bombs and he's on like V version five and it sprays a lot of fart spray. And they That's react. saying something. Yeah. If he's going to incorporate they that in, into it. Well, not most of them. And it's really tough. He has like four phones recording. They record like live to the cloud so that they, cause they can destroy him. And it sprays that farts rate. And like, from what I could see, they didn't freak out that hard. They'd be like, Oh, it smells. Oh, what, what does that smell? But no one was <laughs> Is like, that all just, it, does? <clears throat> it just, no, fart it's, sprays it's, uh, it makes like a loud siren noise and there's like red and blue flashing lights. And then it does two glitter like shoots glitter all over the room. And then so lately he's been exposing scammers. And then I'm watching this. He's just like, we've been working on this video for a year and a half. He hired like another YouTube channel to go to India and film and set all this up. He he had 10 guys infiltrate, basically get a job in these Indian call centers. They know, where all, they know where all the call centers are, four of them within a five mile span. They know what, what? floor they're on. They hacked into the CCTV. Also, why do we, do we have CCTV in the US? Yeah. Oh, okay. But yeah, they hacked into all the cameras so that they could watch them in the office and then all the shit. They, Holy they, shit. They, he this put is this, on YouTube? Yeah. You there had to be some laws broken. This. You got to watch it. Yeah. That sounds amazing. It's just, he's so good. And he's like, yeah, we've been working on this for a year and I'm just so impressed by it. They, 
this guy gets a job there, brings in the glitter bomb, brings in the this box that pushes cockroaches out of it, and oh, brings what? in like <laughs> oh my god, just random stuff. And then when they get spooked, dude, like they shut the whole call center down, and they ended up shutting all the call centers down for a long time. Really. Which, I just, which is really impressive because each call center apparently scams like 60K a day out of people. Wow. Which is like 18 million a year, which is just insane. And they he plays some of the calls of the dudes scamming mostly elderly people. This one lady's like, yeah, I just retired, but I got breast cancer. And um, so my retirement's not going super well. And now this is really sucky that I owe $2,000 or whatever for the IRS. And then they're, they're still just continue to scam her. They wow. don't care. Garbage wow. people. So anyway, they infiltrated and like... It's just impressive. And I love how he's just like, yeah, we just hacked their cameras. And I was like, it's wow. not easy to do all that. And everyone's just like, good. Dude. And also the Fuck other those guys. I can't remember. What he should have done was hire UFC fighters. And they should have infiltrated and kicked just all their asses. Beat everybody up. Yeah. That would have been interesting. And then I can't remember the other YouTube channel name that was in India doing the filming and setting up. But there's this big uh, WhatsApp chat with all the scammers. Apparently there was like 55,000 members in it. This is like this closed community, but it's huge. They, in the message were like, I think like we're getting fucked with. And wow. I think like we have a problem. And then it says like, yeah, it's confirmed. Like they're in India, they're in whatever the town was. And so if you see them, shoot them. Oh, whoa. Yeah, and, like, whoa. and so, so then like, what? So I'm then Mark's right like, this. Mark's like, I just can't risk that. I, you know, if you guys got to pull out. Yeah. Yeah. You, I don't want you to get hurt, let alone literally shot in the street. And Should so then like they're guns. like, we're going to stay locked down and finish this. Let's go. Yeah. Wow. It's crazy. So are they still going? They're still going? Uh, no, they finished the video, got back home. Oh, and then went into that WhatsApp thing with 55,000 scammer members yeah. and sent this video. And they're like, yo, we like downloaded a shitload of your files and we sent them to the FBI you're, no you're way. Yes. Fuck. Yeah. That's so Bitch. sick. Let's wow. go. So, it's so dope. And then there's a bunch of other channels that helped them out that are literally just channels that like expose scammers and not just like scammer prank calls. But now this other guy I was watching that was like legit. He knew everything. He knew their name. He could go into their phone, take their, get their pictures. Holy crap. So it's really entertaining to watch that they can build an entire channel off of just like helping hacking. people. Wow. Oh. Hacking. My grandparents got taken for like eight grand. What? They. They called, and apparently they say it sounded like me. And so I called and was like, Grandpa, I'm in jail. Like, you need to help me. You can't tell mom. Like, you need to help me out and get me out of jail. And, like, my grandparents are the, literally the sweetest people on earth. They would give their shirt off their back if it would help me. So they went to Hornbachers. They gave them, like, these detailed directions. So, my like, my grandma has the notes of, like, what to do because she literally writes down notes about everything. You know, go to the the nearest store and buy six hundred dollars in gift cards. You need to buy them in this amount, and then you need to go to another store and buy more. They went uh, back because it was so far to all the stores. Fargo didn't have that many. They went back to Hornbachers, and someone at Hornbachers was like, "These people should not be spending, you know, a thousand dollars on gift cards." And so they were like, "What? It, what's this for?" And then they wouldn't tell. And they were like, you're getting scammed. Like, this isn't real. Your grandson wouldn't do that. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it was, yeah, like almost 10 grand stolen. Might have been God, even more. Oh, so they and, did. And it's up. just gone because it's it's straight out of your yeah. like, checking account or whatever. It's not with the credit card. They had to mail the gift cards or how'd they get them? No, they went back and then they uh, like read off the numbers of the cards to them. And like this had to take a while. Mm -hmm. Like teaching my grandpa how to like call me, my cell phone number took a minute so i can't imagine sending them to the store doing this bringing it home bringing home all the gift cards like it's crazy dude, you gotta be a serious piece of shit yeah yeah and they're super mean they're, when they're on the phone they're really mean and they're and then you can what? hear it, like the old people because that's who they target they're like oh, well, i just i don't know how to do any of, i well, just tell me what i need to do mm -hmm. you know sort of they get desperate and then they get them all like scared and they they like yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's bad. And like and my grandparents called me and they were like, Hey, are you okay? And I was like, Yeah, hey, what's up? Yeah. Like whatever. And then they were like, Oh shit. That's when they figured out. So they knew pretty quick after up. they because once those people stopped and they said, Call your grandson now oh, on yeah. his real number. And I thankfully picked up and I was like, Hey, what's up? And I, they were like, No. God damn it. That's oh my sucks, gosh, dude. dude. They were like obviously embarrassed, didn't want to tell my parents, and it was like this whole debacle. Yeah. How did it come out that that uh, they had gotten like ten grand. Well, then my parents were like, "How much money 
did they t- like did you send and then they were like you know like pretty yeah. much everything we had and that honestly a- it, among all that that is embarrassing yeah like, no they were super embarrassed admit that you were yeah just to be like yeah i got scammed i feel like an idiot mm-hmm. why are they all in india maybe that's that, a question um cheap he didn't really explain that he just said that's where if you're getting scammed it's gonna be in india i, I hmm. feel like we have video footage of someone calling one of us and us fucking with him. Oh, yeah, it's so oh, funny. Yeah. What, what video? It never made a video, but it was just, if we went into the hard drive, we could find it. When What what were we doing during that time? It'd be funny to play that right here. We were, like, yeah, on a trip somewhere. We were somewhere. just fucking with him. We are like... <sighs> were we in the RV or something? Like, yeah, ooh, something you're se- you sound sexy and, like, yeah. <laughs> just doing, like, weird shit. He was trying to sell me TV, and then I was like... Where were we going? Yeah, why can't I not remember I that? don't know. But then I started saying... Some weird stuff to him, and yeah. he was like, "I uh, yeah." You I, made him feel yeah. un- you made him feel uncomfortable. He and ended he up hanging out. Yep. Yeah. The next time we got to start like making a God dang compile dude, these I together. Get like a hundred calls a week. So many, but yeah, yours Maybe are like hundred, legit but... insurance people. Like you know, <laughs> they're like, "Hey, I heard you need insurance and whatever." Like you can't fuck with when them. you sign you, up for the you for need the like, internet best quotes. Yeah, you yeah. need like the automated one that is like your car's extended warranty has expired. Press oh, one to a, talk to a, a representative, a and then it comes on. Yeah, we need one, the, the extended those. warranty has got to be the most played out scam. Yeah, dude, you got to be real fucking. I think dumb after to the memes that. came That's out, insane to still dude. be pushing that scam. Or I feel like after all the memes came out of it, they like were like, all right, we got to think of something else, dude. I wonder what the percentage of people that they call to money that they get is. You oh, know, it's got to be so. It's got to be like. A a thousand, call a thousand call call a thousand people to get one. Well, maybe? so then some of the call centers, they they literally first question they ask them, maybe their name, but first question, are you over sixty five? Oh no, it's an automated thing. You press one if you're over sixty five. And if you press anything else, they just hang up. Really? Really? That's yeah. that's their thing. They're yeah. like, All right, if you're old, you're more likely to Yeah. And that's, that's the crazy. cutoff, I guess. Well, I mean, we have scams in the comments. There might even be scams on this video we right do. here, but it's a big thing now for our YouTube videos. Somebody will comment, and then a scammer will reply to that comment and be like, hey, you won the last giveaway. Respond to our WhatsApp and claim it. And then it's basically like C-Boys 1 or C-Boys 11 or something that kind of looks similar to like our profile. Yeah. Dude, but still, to fall for that, but there's a ton of people that do. The only logical thing that I saw that some kid said he was like, I figured it was fake, but I just got so excited because That's you guys had told too. me I'd won a truck. Like, yeah. I got so excited, nothing was making sense, and yeah. so I just went for it. Yeah. Still, don't fall for it. The well, only way we'll ever contact you is a FaceTime. Well, Ken kind of went in, and he infiltrated the system and was messing with him for, like, a solid day's worth, right? Two days worth. So Ken put in some time. <laughs> Honestly, we should just pop up the messages right here, but the guy, the scammer... Got Ken into like Telegram or something like that, right? Telegram to like communicate with him. And then what did he want from you? I, I came up with a fake name and email address. Fake name and email. And then I just said, just went on. I, I said something about Vegas and I'm banned from credit cards. And right, but he wanted to get uh, you to pay for shipping for the truck, right? It was like 300 bucks. For Th- 300 bucks? So th- these scammers were saying like, all right, we're going to give you a truck. You want a truck. Congratulations. All you need to do is pay for shipping and it's $300 or $500 or something like that. And um, and they're hoping to just cash out on yeah, as so many then, as so they can. So then Ken was like, well, which C-boy am I talking to? And he goes, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> and then so, it got personal. For yeah. Ben. So then I'm and like, ben was mad. tell him to send a selfie. So this guy goes in and he screenshots the picture that we took in front of the sign with you betcha. Yeah. Really? So it's like all first... five of us. All five of us stand in there with you betcha and sends that. And then I was like, well, send something more personal so it, so I know it's you. Holding a spoon. What did he send then? A uh, picture of you and CJ. Picture of me and CJ then. Still off of my Instagram or something. Hey, and then, send a dick pic. I need to see this. Yeah. Pen, so, send a picture of your balls. I heard you yeah. had three. <laughs> where, do you think that, where do you think this scammer's working out of? Like, do you think he's? I like, don't know. That seems like kind of like a average joe yeah. blow that figured out yeah, the scamming that- system because youtube that's a massive thing i mean mark marcus brown like one of the biggest tech youtubers even made a full-on video dedicated to that so for him to have enough issues with it to address it to the masses and be like yo look yeah it's not happening. this isn't happening 
but he talks about like YouTube needs to do something about it. They do. And also another thing that a lot of people don't know when you get an ad that says like C boys TV merch and it's embedded oh, yeah. in YouTube, that is not our stuff. Do people actually fall for that one? Though? I don't know. Maybe. I hope not. I but think, don't buy oh, it. I always thought that was more of a, oh, look, I can get the sweatshirt for 40 bucks. And oh, it's yeah. just not. I mean, if it's obviously, if it's not on our site, like it's not legit. It's not authentic. Somebody, yeah. Somebody bought one of those and they got shipped like a SpongeBob. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> Ken just said somebody did purchase one of the fake Sea Boys sweatshirts or whatever it said. And it was a SpongeBob shirt. Wow. Now that's what I call a scam. Yeah, oh shit. At that point, why would you even send him something? Right. Yeah, he could have just taken it. What a piece of shit move, though. Like, to scam people. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's just stealing. Yeah. It's like, yo, you got some sick AirPods, and then I steal them because I didn't want to buy them. I don't want to make my own money. It's messed up. Why are you telling me that? <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I think that's it for the podcast today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you like and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Bye.